great football by Sydney United. Manus Lamont, who's right in front of goal here, finds the angle, and the shot whizzing past the right upright. Well, Manus Meanwhile, Lamont, Sydney United has jumped to fourth position with a convincing performance over Newcastle. Two minutes of play, United making the most of their opportunities against a lethargic Newcastle defence. David Drillich played a major role in United's new look strike force. Two, Drillich, and one of two strikers in the front line for United. Here's Belocka pitch, keeping the momentum going. He's pulled down, no action taken, and this time the move is finished by pleasure. But it was former Socceroo Aitek Gensch who opened the scoring in this his last home game before returning to the Malaysian League. It's inside, typical Malamon football, this time unloading for Gensch. Great build up by United, and what a finish! Wonderful finish by Aitek Gensch, this is his last home game before he returns to Malaysia. And Manus Lamont started the move, square ball across to Gensch. Raced across, nice touches. Gensch this time holding the ball up and drilled it straight into the side of the net. Drillich was ably supported by Manus Lamond, whose unpredictable style led to United's second goal. Here's Morich now, feeding the ball to Manus Lamond. Anything can happen when he gets it. Still with Lamond, shot and goal, and what a wonderful effort. Against the run of play, and Sydney United two goals up. Well, we were saying just seconds ago that United will be dreading the fact that they aren't further ahead. And here comes Manus Lamont to extend that lead. 34 and a half minutes of play gone. It was again the magic of Manus that gave Drillage his reward in the second half. Sydney United still holding a two-goal advantage. Manus Lamont could change all this. It's not Lamont. It's a Drillage. Puts away goal number three, 23 minutes of play gone in the second half and United really running away with this game. Village puts away goal number seven and what a fine header, fine execution and this really is a comprehensive performance from United. The confidence has definitely changed but I don't think we've, we ever doubted that we were good enough to, to play and beat sides. We were always, um, I mean, the rival coaches have always said that we're the team to beat and that we're the one to watch out and we've always been struggling so now we're not playing well we're winning games and I think um, when we play well and win games there's going to be a few sides that are going to have to watch out. The 3-0 victory was United's third in a row. Despite a brave performance from debutant keeper Adam Fittock, there was no relief for Newcastle's defensive record which has now conceded 59 goals, the worst in the league. I mean, we're trying to work on some things mate, we had couple of young kids in tonight we got caught a couple of times we get caught wide that's where I've got my biggest problem and I've been trying to get the guys to adjust and slide and we're not just, we're just not doing it we haven't got the personnel that can do it at the moment